Oh shit, there's a bird here inside the waiting room. Hey! Oh! Oh! <laughs> He's gone. So my customer brought this car in for brakes and I swear to God just replaced this like not even like two years ago. Maybe yeah, maybe last year. But uh these brakes looks perfect. Let's go check out the other side. Yeah, same thing. You know, it looks still looks great. So uh let's probably let me call him up and see what's the reasoning of why he wants to change the brakes. Okay, so I just got out of the phone with Howard and I guess like the complaint was the brakes is making some squeaking sounds. So what I told him, there's nothing wrong with the rotors or the pads. We're just gonna clean them up and then put some, some brake lube on the ears here, front and back, and then make sure that the mating surfaces is not stuck. So uh, that's what we're gonna do today. Yeah, easy, easy fix. And that should save him more money because like he bought some brake pads and rotors, but that's completely unnecessary right now. We're just gonna clean up the brakes, make sure it's all lubed up on the mating surfaces and should be good to go. All right, so I already put some grease on the mating surfaces on the brakes and that should reduce the brake noise also check the preload on the coilover, which I always do. And actually these, uh, these are Megan Racing coilovers that I installed, I'd say two years ago. And so far it's been working really well for this Fiat. doing an oil change on this Lexus and notice that this oil filter whoever did the oil change before used the wrong oil filter I need to use this one right here it's the correct one yeah it could be catastrophic right there just by using the wrong oil filter crazy Okay, so the customer wants this fender to be rolled. That should be no problem. Just gonna get this thing right here rolled just a tad bit. That way the tires can clear.
right, so I was about to be ready to get this thing wrapped up, but I kind of noticed this thing. <laughs> Man, and look, I can actually physically shake this thing and turn the spring. So whoever installed this um, probably didn't know that he had to like set the preload and also put this collar down here that way it it locks the whole shop assembly so i bet you this car was like just making some unusual sounds while driving so i'm gonna go fix that for him all right so this is what i'm talking about right here so just measured this the spring normally these springs are seven inches long so I set the preload. Now it's at six and three quarters of an inch. And see these rings? So that was like, it wasn't even tight really. Actually, this one is supposed to be right there, you know. This was all the way up here. So that, yeah, so this ring is all the way up here. You can see like how, how clean that is right there. And uh, yeah, I just loosened it up. And you know, we're gonna put this all the way here to lock the shock. And then this one, lock it in place. And then I'll, but before I do that, I'm gonna measure the distance between the upper ring to the lower one and make sure it's the same on the other side. And after that, we're gonna lower the car down and see if the height are the same on both sides. And then we're gonna double check the rear too. Let's go check out with uh, Adam Swan here. What's up, guys? What's, What's going on here? STI in here tonight, man. STY? Why is he putting all this stock stuff back on? I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. We, we don't always just add horsepower. We sometimes have to take it away. Yeah, we gotta take off some horsepower out of this car, man. California sucks, man. I know. <laughs> all right, poor STI going back to stock. But you know, that's no biggie. We always do that here, right? That's right, man. Yeah. Do a lot more from stock to modified, but it's still pretty common that we, uh, we put them back to stock, you know, keep our customers. This is a new customer though, huh? Yeah, new customer. And uh, we're just gonna put the stock cats on. Cause you know, he has some illegals here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah. Should be easy for Adam Swan. Oh yeah. No problem. Man, what a very busy day today, man. So busy that I forgot to eat my lunch. Well, I guess this is gonna be my dinner for tonight. <laughs> 